Hey everyone, welcome back to Mel's Beauty Hangout. Today I have a very exciting video, or I mean it's very exciting for me. I'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine for you. For the past, I don't know, year, two years, I've been really into skincare, really taking better care of my skin. So if you guys want to see kind of what I do every single night, tonight I'm going to be throwing in a mask, which I normally don't do, but I'm traveling tomorrow, so I want to really prep my skin. So if you want to see what I do every single night, products I highly recommend, stand by 100%. If you want to see any of that, then be sure to subscribe if you like what you see, like this video if you do enjoy this, and let me know if you want to see more nighttime skin routine, night more skincare videos. I would love to talk more about it because I love the skin. So anyways, let's go ahead, keep this short, and so I'm ready to take off this makeup. Let's go ahead and just get right into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair back because I don't want it to get gross and I'm traveling first thing in the morning. I don't wanna to have to do my hair, so. I always put my hair back looking crazy. You can, I think they're on Amazon, I have them. They're like those white things that you put like a band so that you don't get in your hair but this works just as well. The very first thing that I do is I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like wow I cannot wait to take off this makeup and I'm having one of those moments today. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take off my makeup once I take off my face. I'm gonna take off all my makeup with the Biosonis Squalene and Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. So I love this stuff so much, it is so good. This is actually my second bottle and I just love it. I can't get enough of this. It truly, truly, truly takes off all your makeup and cleanses your face. So before you even start your skincare routine, make sure that your hands are nice and clean. So I'm gonna be everyone's mom and be like, wash your hands. So when your hands are nice and dry, I put a decent amount of oil. I'm going to rub that in my hands and just start rubbing it all over. You don't wanna be like too rough, but I don't mind. My the viewfinder is actually my mirror since you're in my medicine cabinet. Um, so if I keep looking up, because I'm looking at my viewfinder. So I'm underneath the chin, down my neck. I probably wouldn't recommend wearing like a sweatshirt for this, but I didn't want to change. I don't do my eyes with oil anymore because I have gotten oil in my eyes. Just rinse off my hands and with the wet hands I have, I want to go back in and really massage and break down all that makeup. You can see it is really coming off. There's nothing better than taking off your makeup. I mean, I love obviously putting my makeup on, but taking it off is. But the next step is I'm going to take this mascara beauty microfiber cloth. Uh, this is what I've just been using. I love it. It's very soft. So I rinse it with some warm water and watch the magic. I, it all comes off with one swipe. It's like unbelievable how well this oil is. And a lot of people get really nervous to use an oil, but this one actually doesn't clog pores and it's very natural. You gotta be really careful with products that you put on your face. And that's why I say that you should invest in your skincare. One of my very favorite cleansers is a cure. This stuff is so good, um, I don't use sulfates on my face anymore. I really, really pay attention to the ingredients and you guys should as well. So I make sure my face is nice and damp and I'm going to wash my face with the cleanser. 
I don't necessarily do this every night since usually I'm very lazy. The cleansing oil does a pretty good job of actually cleaning. But this is to really clean your face. I do take care of my skin, but I also don't wash my face in the morning, which is probably as gross to some people. But to me, if I love having my moisturizer on from the nighttime. So yeah, I'll go in with my Bioderma, take off like all the dirt and oil from the nighttime. I'll use my toner, something like that. But usually I'm in a rush in the morning, so I don't really have time. Also, when you dry your face, you should really tap. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Clinique Take the Day Off for eyes. It's made, it's a makeup remover for lids, lashes, and lips. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm just lightly making sure all that mascara gets off. I don't wanna go to bed with mascara. So it took off all the eye makeup. This stuff is really good for when you have like a full face of makeup. So now that our face is nice and clean and dry, I've never used this, but I saw the review, so I'm hoping for the best. It's a pore clearing clay mask by Inus or Innis Free. I guess I don't ever really do masks, but for the purpose of my skin needing help this year. I'm going to apply the rest of this and I'll be back in 10 minutes to take it off. Too much time has passed and now I'm going to take this off. Um, I'm going to massage it and that's what it's supposed to do. Definitely see a little bit of difference but nothing like too crazy. So for the toner that I use and I absolutely love the most is the Ula Hendrickson Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. This stuff honestly has, I feel like, changed my skin. Whenever you're breaking out or, I don't know, you just need that balance back in your life. Ugh, oh, this stuff is just so good. But I just like to put this on because it is so refreshing. So I wipe it all and then I always tap into my skin go in directly with a moisturizer yet you want to let that really soak into your skin so while I'm waiting for that I go into my purity gel eye cream purity it made simple eye eye gel um, it looks like this I really like this texture I just go underneath the eye I just, I will always have little wrinkles there, is what it is. But I care the most about dryness. Almost done, guys. Sometimes I'll go in with the oil, but I'm not trying to get too crazy. I think the toner has settled in. So, my absolute favorite thing of all of this besides the toner, okay. I did the back. Everything is my favorite, but this is a game changer. This is expensive. Put the price here for how much it is, but there's no moisturizer that I've used that can beat this. I'm probably putting, I put too much on, and oh my god, it just the feeling of this is. So I really like to work this into my skin. Always go down my neck. You guys just go about your day and your skin looks dewy, looks healthy, and it just feels amazing. If I do um, every night before I go to bed, I don't do the mask every night. That is a very rare thing. Besides the mask, I do all that every night. Um, it doesn't matter how tired I am. It doesn't matter anything i always 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 make sure i get it done but for before i finish up this video i do want to mention two more products to you guys actually three more so um about a month ago i had a facial and 
I had, I think, a bad reaction to the peel and all this area got so, like little bumps and red and it was peeling. It was not a good time. And I've never had a bad reaction to the, to the peel. So I don't know what was going on, but I was like not about the dry life. So um, over the past couple days when I had that issue, so if anyone who has very irritated, hot, like just very sensitive skin um, and it's very dry, I would recommend trying these products because they transformed my skin within three days. It went back to normal. I feel like if I did do it, it would have just taken a lot longer. So the first thing I would recommend is getting you an aloe vera toner. So this is the toner that I use I from Target, 90% aloe vera. I use a good amount. And what I do, I take it on a cotton pad, soak it, and I just hold it in and really press it into my skin. And then I let it absorb. And then I do everything else with my moisturizer. And then I go into this. Now, I've had this product for months probably about three or four no probably like five or six months i've had this so this is the aqua bomb sleeping mask i don't know if it's focusing right now but this stuff i'm gonna tell you straight up i wasn't the biggest fan i didn't think it really did that much for my skin but this is what it looks like i don't really like the gel i'm more of a cream person but when i was so dry i put this on and my skin was like in love with it like this transformed my dryness so i would definitely try it it's a sleeping mask i forgot to say that um so i put on like this layer and then i wait like 10 minutes then like put my head and go to sleep and just in the morning wow totally recommend this if you have really dry skin i would definitely give this a shot and the last thing which it took me forever to try this i don't know why I think I got this in a BoxyCharm and I saw it and I was like, oh, let me try that. Really nice product. This is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away. The Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So this is what look packaging looks like. And it's green inside. This is really nice too for traveling. I might take this with me this weekend. I don't know. I love this stuff. But this is so much more travel friendly. It's only 1.7 fluid ounces. But those are some of my favorite products. I'm gonna try, I don't know why I'm trying like new stuff, but it's by the same brand, Clean Bee. I got this in BoxyCharm too. It's a, moist, it's a facial cleanser, so I like travel size, but I'm traveling. So it's just so much easier because this I definitely can't bring. Yeah. All right guys, that was my entire skincare routine. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about the products that I use to help me try to have a clear face. Um, I still have texture and large pores. There's nothing I can really do about the pores, but um, this stuff has really, really transformed my skin over the past couple of years. So I definitely recommend investing. Like I said, I wouldn't say spend a million dollars, but just really research your products that you're putting on your face and really read the reviews and just read what's in it and if it's best suited for your skin. As always, whatever works for me may not work for you. So be sure to, like I said, do your research because some of the stuff may not even work for your skin type or might be too sensitive. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye.